OTR performance or diesel laptops. Which one would you prefer? Hmm? Well, today we're gonna find out. As you know, both of these are capable to connect to your truck using your phone via Bluetooth. But this doesn't mean that these tools are capable to do the same. One tool is better than the other, but also one tool is more expensive than the other. So today we're gonna find out. I'm going to take the opportunity to introduce my new channel, B Mechanic School. In this channel, we're gonna learn how it's like to be a mechanic by understanding the basics of the automotive world. As you guys know, technology on vehicles is so hard to understand and even harder to repair. That is the reason why I decided to create this channel so I can help you guys to understand this technology and even better, how to repair it. Follow my channel by looking at the description of this video, you're gonna find a link directly to my channel and there you're gonna find videos. So far, as I uploaded this video, I don't have no videos on that channel, but eventually I will. Support my channel so that way I can create videos so you guys can understand how it's like to repair these expensive machines in general. If you wanna know what this channel is going to be like, I'm going to explain how it's like to repair these technologies. I'm going to tell you detail by detail on how this works or how this is going to be repaired. Here we have OTR diagnostic and here we have this uh, decoder. And here we have the list of what you are able to do with these tools. As you can see, you can read fault codes, you can delete fault codes, you can perform a regen, you can view like data, you can see vehicle identification, reset DPF data, and connect via Bluetooth, which means that you don't need a wire to connect directly to the OED port of the truck. The same thing for the diesel decoder. So in this case, they're similar, but what is the difference? And today, that is what I'm going to explain to you. Let's start with the price, because that is the most important thing. OTR diagnostic, the subscription costs $600. And that is plus a $200 interface. The interface is going to be these devices right here. <laughs> okay, this is right here. This is the OTR link. That's how uh, OTR performance calls it. This is the one that connects via Bluetooth to your phone. You wanna have this adapter for Packard and then you wanna have the Volvo adapter. This is not included with the subscription. So $600 plus $200 give you a total of $800. But of course, then that price may be different if you use promo codes or this of discounts then they can provide to you at the moment of purchase. But if you want a discount from my side, you can use my promo code Francisco. Let's put it right here. Uh, prom code That is if you are interested in buying that. I, I have partnered with that, but uh, just to be clear, I'm not getting paid for um, uh, OTR diagnostic of diesel decoder to this video. Uh, the diesel decoder, what is the price? Let me double check because that is something very important. We need to see the price exactly on what is the price. Uh, let me see, uh, I have it right here. It is uh, $321 and also it will depend on where you get it. So what $321 is going to get you? Uh, $321 is going to get you the subscription and the devices. It's going to come with the uh, interface to connect to the OD port and with the Volvo adapter. It doesn't come with the Packard adapter, but uh, uh, it is 
cheaper I would say so um, as you can see just by the stars OTR diagnostic is almost double the price than uh, than um, than diesel decoder so makes uh, that is like a, you know a plus for people that is looking to buy the diesel decoder because you are capable to do all these paying half of the price well depending if you get discounts probably you are going to pay less for diesel diagnostic but still this is cheaper uh, $321 and you are capable to do all that anyway uh, but it is not just about the price difference it is also on what you get for that as you can see and as I explained you get all this but it is not just that i would say there is more than just that so that's the reason why i decided to do this video so uh for otr diagnostics what you can do when you read fault codes okay otr diagnostic give you a description of the fault codes and also uh it provides a uh, help with the fault code what it means with the helps is then it will tell you what is the possible causes of the fault codes as for example if you get in low coulomb for example it will tell you you go check the coulomb pretty simple right but not just that if you get a fuel uh, pressure problem let's say the fuel pressure is low the troubleshooting will the help of uh, OTR diagnostic it will tell you to go check injectors it will go uh, it will tell you go check these specific components it, it, it's something very helpful at some point especially for people that want extra information now with a uh, diesel decoder you get uh, descriptions as well but uh, you don't get help uh, you don't get troubleshooting so you only get description and uh, if you want uh, troubleshooting you have to pay an extra subscription depending on the level of subscription that's how much you're gonna pay so in uh, in this friends in the freeze uh, a comparison um, OTR diagnostic is better than uh, diesel decoder uh, delirium faults well both of them are the same here so i won't discuss much about it it's like same same what i mean same is then they both can delete faults and uh that's how it nothing else uh, pretty easy do regions um, yeah, that is very important, especially for you if you are with your truck, you know, it's pretty hard to do a region or the truck doesn't. There is sometimes then you cannot do a region manually, you have to have a device to do a region. And this is, this both of the tools are capable to do. Um, they both can do the regions, but there is a little difference. So this one, uh, the way it does region, as soon as you connect, it does the region. So it's like, uh, how we say like uh, it takes like 30 seconds to connect and do the region so I will say it like this tool is faster faster to perform a region it's faster to perform the diesel decoder uh, it takes a while because it needs to a lot uh, different uh, scan different modules and stuff like that sometimes it takes a little while, a while so it may take up to three minutes to uh, let you uh, do a region so I would say then you have to wait uh, three minutes for region Uh, this is dying so let's change it for a different one uh, you have to wait like three minutes for region uh, 
but of course remember your pain have the price so it isn't a big deal anyway so waiting three minutes for a region to start a region uh, view light data uh, if you want to see light data uh, both of them are capable to do the same uh, OTR diagnostic has a limited view That's a view, which means then it will have just specific parameters then it will be able to register and to extract to give you the readings. Um, one thing that is cool about OTR diagnostic is then you can select the specific parameter, the specific data you want to see, and it's going to give you a full screen on that specific reading that you want to see. And uh, that is pretty cool. Uh, that's something that I like because sometimes you don't want to be overwhelmed with so much uh, information. You just click on the one you want to see and that is going to be the only one on the screen. Uh, diesel decoder. It is pretty interesting diesel decoder because diesel decoder gives you an extent uh, uh, data information like a large data information that would be the way to say it so large data so it can give you information from almost every single model it connects to that is pretty impressive to be honest even for me because this is an app this is not a uh, a computer, uh, actual software from the manufacturer, and you are able to do that, that is pretty interesting. Um, the identification of the vehicle, well, I mean, in that area, it's just the same. Both of them give you the information same, but there is a difference on here. So the basic information is the same, same, but plus software information. This diesel decoder give you the software uh, 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 level, the, self, the software number of the, each computer. So if you give you the software uh, number, I'll put it right there. It, it, it gives you the software number, which is pretty impressive. OTR diagnostics on this and B called information just give you a big number and you can see your number and and all other comp other details. Um, receive the PF data. Well, this will be a question mark for both of them on what exactly can do. I know for sure that both of them can reset DPF. Um, um, uh, ash accumulators. Both of them can uh, reset DPF ash. Both of them can do that. Uh, the interface, well, uh, it's pretty much the same as we can compare both of them, both of the interfaces. Uh, you can see the OTR, you can see the diesel decoder is smaller than the OTR uh, diagnostic. Uh, it is friendly, I would say, because it's smaller, you can put it on your pocket, it won't bother you. And this one as well, you can put it on your pocket, but it's a little larger, you can see it. But both of them are, you know, mini tools, so you can take them anywhere. It is just you know uh interesting to see them these both uh applications are capable to do the same for a different price uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, uh both are both of the applications are the same they're not exactly the same uh, i would say otr diagnostic has the advantage it has a lot of money invested on making it easy for you to uh, understand how to use it. Diesel decoder is just a basic tool. Basically, then, you know, it tells you where specific things are, 
but it doesn't uh, have a, a home screen where you can delete code immediately or redirect you to other screens directly. So you have to look for a specific uh, information that you look you need to look for. But still, it isn't that hard. I would say then it will take a little longer to understand how to use it. But at the end of the day, you wanna be able to use it. Well, uh, it is it is pretty much it. There is not much uh, we can talk about after this. Um, we can clearly see the difference now that we have everything in resume. Uh, OTR diagnostic is more expensive than this LD decoder. Um, 800 bucks. This is a basic price without uh, a, a discounts or promo codes. If you want my honest opinion on which tool is better, uh, Diesel Decoder gives you the best price for the best features. So it is the best choice when it comes to get a good tool with good performance. This is all I have to say. Any questions you can comment below. Uh, you can uh, leave your opinions on which tool you have, which tool is better, how to use it, and uh, what's your experience on using it. Um, that's it's not something that you may have to say to share with other viewers that are seeing this video. This information that I'm providing here is going to be based on a basic truck on a Freiner Cascadia. But if you are working on a Volvo or a Packard, this information right here may not be the same because it's going to limit you so much. As I would say, like Packard probably is going to limit you just to read fault codes and delete faults on OTR diagnostic. And the same thing for this decoder. And the rest of this is not going to be provided. You are not going to be able to perform region. You are not going to be able to view data. Maybe you will be able to see identification. So depending on the vehicle, depending on the truck you have, this information is going to be is going to vary on both applications. Follow my channel if you want to see more videos like this, uh, and uh, I will try to improve my videos day by day, explaining uh, with more details on how slide to understand technologies. And as you know, I am starting to work on a new channel, B Mechanic School, where I want to explain more about technologies on automotive uh, vehicles. And, uh, and I want to help you on how slide to be a mechanic. But uh, as it is, this is all. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel and see you later.